everyone this is the super weed maker and today I'm making a video about synthetic hair and how I bought them where I got them the qualities the things that I have to say and the differences between this synthetic hair that I got with other synthetic hair that I, I worked with I have bought a long time ago uh, I was actually searching for platinum white hair synthetic of course and most of the hair that I came across looked so ugly and plastic and too snow white. So I watched a photo of some synthetic hair and it looked so beautiful. Of course everything in photos might look better or they might be edited to look better. But I went ahead and bought one of them and I was stunned by the quality of this white synthetic hair. First of all you can see the difference between a pure white and this white. This, this actually looks uh, more like a, just more like a sugar white. It does have a little bit of a tint into it, like ivory white or something. So it's so much better. And I went ahead and bought some some more of them, and I'm very pleased with them. Along with the whites, let me just start putting them aside. I'm gonna keep one white here just for comparison yeah these are the whites I have also bought some uh, blends this is the platinum which is a 613 and a 60 together and I'm gonna introduce to you in a problem that these hair also have there's another one they look very identical this is a white one yep and where's the other one I think There should be another one of this, but I don't know exactly where it is right now. So, I thought that this was a very beautiful color, so I went ahead and ordered more of it. And look at that. This is a hashtag 60. This is a blend 60 and 613, and this is another 60 and 613. And why this difference? I contacted the seller and they told me that they make some uh, batches of hair and one line of hair they create it with some specifications then they sell it when it's over they start over a new one and the new one might not be identical to the previous one but look at the difference like it's so huge i love this color it's like a really pale swedish blonde swedish ash blonde this is like a platinum it does have a little bit of more champagne and this is a white they're all three beautiful colors but I don't think I have enough hair. I don't have enough hair from this to make a unit and I don't have enough of this to make a unit because they're all labeled the same and you don't know exactly what you're getting. So this is part of the inconsistency with synthetic which is ridiculous because I understand the inconsistency of human hair but what about synthetic? It's the same factory and let me just show you something. I bought all this hair from various vendors throughout day they all have different names but when I get the, the packaging they all come from Huang Cao Yang Quintak Hiao Q building 8 unit 2 room 401 China and the telephone number and all of these they all have the exact same name where is it the exact same name the exact same telephone number everything is identical so to me, it sounds that either one person has all these eBay stores or they are just resellers and they all buy from the same factory so they just make the order to the factory and the factory ships it to me, to the customer. So what, what I want to say is that it's not different vendors so you don't have consistency. It's exactly the same factory, the same hair. They all take it from the same person so it doesn't really make any sense. And then I just ordered one 613, which is like the pure yellow blonde. Uh, it doesn't look very beautiful, the color. The hair is pretty. I mean, the shine pattern is okay, but I wouldn't really want to make a unit out of this. I just got one of these just to be able to see how it looks. And yeah, the color is like piece yellow. I don't really think that's worth it. Uh, this kind of hair is good for... Um, 
character wigs probably because you might want to have a wig that's a yellow blonde just because you want to get dressed like someone who has yellow blonde hair I don't know but naturally this color is not very preferred because people when they dye their hair blonde they really want to get rid of the yellowness so you get the point um, another huge inconsistency both in color and quality this is labeled as red on the sides that they sell but when it came it, it was like hashtag 113 this is the code of the color and they all came from the same vendor the same code number like but you can see look how much this shines and look how much better this one is this is darker it's like a true red and this looks like cheap party wig hair and there's also difference in this is the brown clips and lace and this has the blonde clips and lace so I contacted the seller and I asked them uh, you don't have enough consistency and I hate it but how do I know which batch am I uh, getting so one of them has like a brown the other one has like a, a beige a blonde so how do I know how can I order this specific one because it's a very beautiful color I would love to have like 10 of this and make like two units people would pay to get something like that but not something like that and they told me that this was the old one the old line it finished and now they're selling this so I told them okay I don't want to buy any more red from you because that sucks big time so now I have these two that I don't really want to use this is only one which is not enough to make a unit so you know I'm stuck with this ugly hair um, then I'm gonna talk to you about some darker colors this is the number 12 this is number jet black number one this is number four I bought one of each kind just to see the colors because everything looks very good in the side but uh, when you get it up close you realize exactly how it looks and how it acts this color is perfect I just love it I don't really like black hair but when it gets so perfect straight and so healthy looking and this is a jet black it's not blue it's not purple it's not nothing it's not brown it's just black charcoal black beautiful I would love to make a unit out of that this is number four it's actually a very ashy dark brown so it can look really natural because it has absolutely no warm tones it's very ashy very beautiful very natural dark brown number number four and this is number 12 this is like a really warm tone brown like a chocolate brown not so much chocolate as much as warm brown but it's beautiful this looks like hair that's been dyed so if you make a unit like that it will appear natural of course this is too perfect to be taken as real hair but it would act very nicely I love these three two colors I might order if I just feel like so because now I know that they're very good um, the number 24 sorry no first of all I'm going to talk to you about number 22 now pay a good attention because this is getting so much better oh yeah it gets better and better and better the inconsistency let me get them all here I have four of each one you will see why I put them together what color is this and what color is this they both came from the same factory the same person they were both labeled as hashtag 22 you heard correctly these two different colors they came from the same vendor and they both came under the same tag number and I just contacted the seller again I was like which one of them is the, the real 22 because they, these are just two different totally different colors this is like a really pale chocolatey blonde thing and this is like a true golden blonde a dark golden blonde it's not really pale or light it's just a normal golden blonde it actually has a little bit of a yellow gold tint to it but it, it's not really bad it's beautiful what about this one which one is the 22 and they told me that yeah different lines of hair and I was like so much different so much inconsistency it's like ordering white number 60 and getting 613 for example would, would that make sense would his excuse be accepted I don't know and you know what I have four of this and four of this uh, it could be enough to make one unit and another unit I don't know maybe I need five of each one of them 
But I hate the fact that the, the inconsistency on synthetic hair is so big. It doesn't make sense. It's synthetic hair. It's one factory. They make it. They need to, to remember the code the next time and create identical hair. So, I'm coming to the last one. <laughs> Which is my favorite. No, this is not the last one. I only have three so far. This is number 24. On the side, this looked not so good. It actually looked kind of ugly and petrol uh, blonde, you know, the, the olive blonde, a little greenish, but up close, this is so beautiful. Look at the color. It actually looks like sandy blonde, like, uh, I don't know how to call that. It's, it's perfect, 24. I'm in love with this color. It looks like normal Swedish blonde, ash blonde. It's perfect. <coughs> so beautiful I really wish I knew beforehand that this is such a perfect color I wouldn't have taken all these 22's because they suck next to this one I really love this this is a personal taste number 22 is not bad but as I said the inconsistency is really bad and I really love the number 24 I still have some coming to me because they still haven't arrived but I will make units out of this uh, and then here we have a beautiful blend this is a 27 and 613, 50% each one of them. It looks beautiful. The fact that it has like a blend with different colors, one is darker, one is lighter, it makes more dimension to the hair. And it looks like, look at that, look how more uh, fake this looks. Just because it's not just the color, it's just that it's one solid color and it's like really light. This one looks so much better. If you make a unit out of this, this could practically look like perfect, healthy human hair. So I might order more of this because I only ordered one to see because I was skeptic about the number 27 and the number 613 together. But it looks very beautiful. I really think that this works more of, the, of it and make a unit. And then the last one, the ombres. Um, this was one of the last ones that I ordered and then I ordered this. The more dimension and the more coral blending you have, the... The, the more realistic result you have. So I said that if it's just a blend to make this look so much natural and better, what if I had like darker root and lighter ends? This would make, make it so much better. And you know, the colors would have to work with each other. This is like a more ashy tone and the end is ashy as well. This is more warm and the, the end is more warm. But I got scammed on this one. This was actually not so expensive. It was like, uh, I think 3.5 euros or 4 euros or something, I don't know, but I got scammed because this is not a real ombre. This is short, light brown hair, like number 27, I don't know, strawberry blonde, and it has like longer 613, and look at that, look at that. That, that. That's not really an ombre, it's a fake ombre, it's actually a blend, and they just made an effect that they cut the darker strands shorter, and then they kept the lighter strands longer in order to kind of fake the ombre but when you, when you label something as ombre it better be a real ombre because I gave money for that and I don't like it I don't want this so what I did is that I went beach mode on and I, I requested a refund because this is not an ombre so they refunded me and I don't plan to use this not only because it would be not moral to use something that I got refund but also because that thing is just so bad I don't like this thing I mean, the color combination is not that bad, but look, this is so thick here and the, the thickness drops dramatically. I don't want to make a unit out of this, so yeah, that really sucks. So I went ahead and searched more and I found this, which is a real ombre. Uh, and of course, the color combination is a little bit more uh, realistic. This is a 10T16. I'm going to take this apart so as to show you how beautiful that looks. Um, there it is. The graduation is perfect because you can see that it has like really dark strands even up to as low as this and it also has really light strands as high as this so there is a huge graduation effect. It's not like a deep dye, it doesn't have like 10 and then a line and then 16. This is a very beautiful color but you know I bought this for 9 euros. Very expensive if you need like five wefts to make a unit, that means that you need like 45 um, euros just for the hair and 
I don't think that it worth giving so much money for just the Japanese high heat resistant fibers when I can buy one of these like I bought all of them in auctions all of them except this one and this one so they were starting like at one dollar and I, my, the maximum that I put was like two or two and a half euros so you realize that this is like it could be like one one dollar or, or one euro and this is like nine so nine of them would cost equally as much as this one so yeah I didn't buy them also cheap some of them were like three euros but this is nine euros it's very expensive and I don't really think that it worth giving so much money for just a small weft that you're gonna need like five of them to make a unit though the prop the, the color is just perfect this looks so realistic like a really ash brown and then the ends are like a really nice light colored blonde number 16 beautiful combination very expensive I contacted the seller asking him if he could make a much better price if I was buying like 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 and the answer was not so pleasing to my ears so I think I'm not really gonna go ahead and buy more for now until they drop the price or I could use this as a combination like have a number a brown number four underneath the welted unit and then you use this on top you know I don't know I really don't know so what I did is that I made a research and I'm gonna make a new video for that because this video is already getting a little bit too uh, long I got some fabric dye this is brown I don't know if you can see that mm, no anyway this is brown and it has some uh, it can dye 400 grams of uh, cotton linen viscose etc or 200s of uh, wool or nylon or lycra or whatever it has the description here how to do that and I do plan to make a new video and try to dye even white hair or this hair or this hair and see how brown it can get next to the other I'm gonna try to make my own real ombre synthetic because yeah I'm gonna talk about this in the new video I really hate the sharpie method or any marker method I need the color to be color fast I need it to be permanent I need it to be solid so I'm gonna try this in the next video so yeah this, these are my five cents in the hair and if you really have any tips for me you can just tell me where you get your own hair I have worked with Hyperloom fibers from Ardo Wigs, very beautiful hair but very expensive shipping so the hair ends up being extremely expensive and I have worked with uh, Shapeshifter Monofiber from uh, Dr. Locks. I don't think I like that hair that much it's more for dreadlocks than just loose uh, installs I have worked with uh, Sam Futura which is amazing but you can't really get your hands on Futura it's a taboo in the hair industry they no one is selling this and it's also very expensive and yeah some other sites like Costcraft they have decent quality of hair but the shipping is ruining the price so for now I'm working with this, this kind of hair and I'm very pleased with that so yeah uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching